Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Happy New Year, everybody. And we're not talking about winter weather here in the New Year. We're talking about the risk for strong and severe storms, though thankfully for the Carolinas, it looks like we could escape the worst of it. But it's certainly something to keep a close eye on as we go into the middle of the week. Let's start with the system because uh, there it is off to the west. Those are actually tornado watches in effect from Kentucky to Tennessee down into Mississippi and Alabama. There's really warm air surging up ahead of this system. I'm going to quickly throw on the surface temperatures just so you can see how warm it is ahead of the system. We've got a lot of 50s, 60s, and 70s. Pretty strong cold front there, but one of the things we also look at are the dew point temperatures. So let's look at the dew points real quickly. Throw those up there. A lot of warm, humid air for this time of year. I mean, it's early January, so we're talking about some pretty significant um, instability in place ahead of this system. So what is the system going to look like as it moves to the east? Let's quickly kind of show you the severe weather outlook um, going into tomorrow. We'll show you day one first, which is today. Um, there's today. You can see we're right on the edge of the low, medium, and even a little bit of a higher risk down uh, towards. And again, this is based on our parameters. SBC outlines these, but we put we put this on a, 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 a one to four scale low medium high and extreme so there, those are the, the the outlooks for today tomorrow you could see uh, most of the carolinas get into this lower risk with a little bit more of a medium risk down to the south and we'll go day three obviously this is gone now let's back up and look at the tornado probabilities real quickly i'm going to quickly turn off the uh the radar here and i'm going to turn off all the warnings here just for a second just so it's a little more clear so this is the tornado probabilities two five ten percent down here tomorrow's probabilities for tornadoes we'll look at day two you can see we're kind of in that low end two percent risk which again i know seems low but on any given day the chance of a tornado is close to zero so two percent is a huge increase you know in some cases 200 percent increase depending on uh, the time of year so pretty significant increase for this time of the year but still two percent probability within 25 miles on the map so let's take a look at the future cast as this pushes to the east all right so let's look at this future cast we'll go through today and tonight it looks like this first wave of thunderstorms heading into the carolinas will arrive later tonight probably after sunset by several hours so we'll have a chance to cool down doesn't mean we couldn't hear a rumble of thunder and see a gusty a shower storm in there but not expecting that to be severe um, as it pushes east it's the second wave and this forms during the day tomorrow it looks like along the cold front now depending on recovery what i mean by recovery how much warm humid air could get back in ahead of the next line that's really going to dictate the severity of the weather here but you can see to our south we're likely going to see more of that happen that's why you saw that medium risk um, down there but a low risk for sure because as we go into the middle of the day tomorrow this is 11 a.m there could be a pretty good line of thunderstorms moving across the carolinas and this would produce some gusty winds likely and again that two percent tornado probably is not high but for january got to keep an eye on it as we go into the afternoon that line pushes off to the east and you can see the area is a probably greater concern because it's three o'clock in the afternoon we'll have time to heat things up in eastern north carolina the low country of south carolina so potentially a better chance for severe storms as this pushes to the east but i'll loop this a couple of times and you'll see that two distinct waves of of showers and thunderstorms moving through the area the big thing is going to be the instability how much cape is going to move through we could take a look at that real quick okay to look at that we'll look at that uh, tornado parameter first before i get to the cape i just want to show you real quickly this is the significant tornado parameter um, just to show you the ingredients for tornadic storms it's not super high but you can see definitely with that second wave tomorrow there is a little bit more especially in south carolina uh, maybe one to two so again not super high but hey it's january it's definitely something we got to keep an eye on if we look at the, the the probability of of cape which is that thunderstorm fuel that you often hear us talk about i think cape is one of those things i look at quite a bit um, it, that basically shows the fuel for thunderstorms to develop. And if we go into tonight, you can see the cape or the thunderstorm fuel kind of falls apart because obviously that makes sense. It's the overnight hours. But watch what happens tomorrow ahead of the next line. There is a little bit of surge. And again, this is in the middle of the afternoon tomorrow. I'll stop this uh, right around, you know, basically 1 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You can see east of I-77, a little better chance for seeing that develop. So certainly something we'll keep an eye on. Another thing we look at, obviously, are the tornado probabilities as well as the updraft helicities, which is essentially where do we see rotating thunderstorms. So this is the uh, the 48 hour um, run from the HER, which is the, the, the rapid refresh model. You could see um, some tracks, but they're pretty low. I mean, not a lot of rotation. The one area that, that kind of caught my eye here 
um, is in eastern North Carolina right here. There's a couple tracks in here that are a little bit more significant. There's one here that I would keep an eye on tomorrow. And again, you can't look at the specific spot, but look at the number and intensity of the rotation tracks kind of shows you the probability of seeing rotating thunderstorms, which can lead to severe weather and obviously lead to tornadoes. But um, the eastern part of the state, certainly something we'll keep a close eye on. So again, um, let's look at the probabilities again one more time for severe weather. Um, I'm going to go back to the tomorrow. This is the, the risk for tomorrow. Uh, you could see that risk in there. Uh, basically for the Carolinas um, down into Georgia and Panhandle, Florida. This is the low to medium risk right now for tomorrow. Again, we'll keep a close eye on that. That system is still off to the west. We'll keep a close eye. Hopefully nothing develops. But just a heads up, it's January. You typically aren't used to worrying about severe weather. In this case, we are over the next 24 hours.